Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today is a day that I've been waiting for for a very long time because we are finally gonna see six, one of the three standard Banner Four Star characters, the three starter characters, Kaya and Belisa, whose constellations are way too hard to get. Um, but yeah, it's the 1st of November today and that means new shop reset and Lisa is back in the shop and my Lisa is C5 so that means with the shop copy of this month she's finally gonna be C6 after all this time been playing this game for three years and now finally I'm gonna get her C6 and I'm really excited for this because her C6 is actually amazing and kinda completely changes her playstyle yeah I can't wait to actually try out that C6 it's gonna be amazing so without further ado Let's not waste any more time and go straight to the shop, Paimon's Bargains, and there she is. Let's get that constellation. C6, here we go. So what does the C6 actually do? When Lisa takes the field, she applies three stacks of Violet Arc's conductive status onto nearby opponents. Now what does that mean? Basically to get uh, the max damage on her hold E, her hold skill, um, she needs first to get three stacks of this conductive status, um, which normally you need to cast the skill, the press version of the skill, not the hold version, three times or do three charge attacks. And, you know, that's kind of tedious. But with the C6, you can just completely bypass this and immediately get all three stacks as soon as you switch her in, which is amazing. You can just switch her in, immediately use the hold version of the elemental skill and get a ton of damage. So yeah, that's basically what it does. So, let's activate it. There we go. C6 Lisa. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the build real quick now, and then we're gonna try it out. So as you can see, my Lisa has 1600 attack, 138 elemental mastery. Her crit rate is 66%, crit damage 146%, with 155% energy recharge, and also, of course, some electro damage bonus. The weapon I'm using is the Solar Pearl. And artifacts I'm using two piece Thundering Fury and two piece Gladiators. So, yeah, mainly just focused on crit and ER. And a bit of attack. Use an attack sense. Electro damage goblet and a crit damage circlet. Talents are at level 9, 10 and 9, though with the constellations is, it's 13 and 12. And yeah, constellation, of course, C6. I mean, that's the entire point of the video. Okay, so that's my Lisa. So let's go to Inazuma, to Masanori, as always in these videos, and just uh, see how good she is now with C6. Okay, here we go. Let's go straight into the battle. And yeah, usually, like I said, you'd have to cast the skill three times, or you know, do charge attack to get the three stacks, and then you hold the skill. Stop blocking. Okay, there you go. And then you get nice damage, you know, 30k, almost 30k there. Um, but yeah, it's a bit tedious to get all three stacks, especially if there are several opponents nearby. It's kind of hard to get the stacks on all of them. But the C6 should completely change that. So yeah, if I just switch out and then switch her back in, immediately three stacks. That's so nice. And it's not just on one target, it's on all the opponents nearby. So that is just such a nice constellation. So yeah, that's what the constellation does. Um, but of course, with just two characters here, Jean and Lisa, we're not gonna get that much damage. I wanna try in a full team, of course. Okay, so the team I'm gonna use for this um, consists of Lila, Lisa, Cole, and Sarah. Complete poster team. Yeah, so Lila is here for shielding, of course, so we don't get uh, knocked back while casting Lisa's skill. And also she has tenacity, my Lila, um, so we should get some attack out of that too. Then Kole is for the aggravate, and also has the Instructor's artifact set, which gives some more element mastery for even more aggravate damage. Sarah, of course, is gonna buff Lisa's attack and her crit damage, since I have C6 Sarah. So we should get a lot of damage from Lisa's skill with this team. Also would have been nice to get, you know, some swirl in there, but, well, you can only have four characters. Let's see what's the rotation here. I think we first apply Electro, then get some Dendro on it, get the shield, get 
Sarah buff, and then we just cast the skill. Was that 100,000? Was that over 100,000? I didn't see it because there were so many numbers at once. I guess we just have to try again. Sixty-two this time. Okay, so maybe it wasn't one hundred thousand last time. Hmm. Let's try it again. So get some electro on him. Get the accurate going. Get the shield. Get the server buff. And big damage. Yeah, sixty-two again. Okay, I don't know why I saw a one hundred thousand there. Um, maybe it was just at 10,000, but why would there be a 10,000 in there? I don't know. Anyway, 60,000. That's pretty nice, actually. Pretty good damage. Especially considering that it has a pretty big AoE and hitting all the opponents in that AoE for 60k damage. And it's really easy to set up, actually. Just, you know, just do it again. Just do this. Do this. And then... Profits. Oh, that wasn't a crit. Damn it. Okay. Let's go. 73. Okay, that's a bit more than 62. And I think I know why. Because this time I normal attack first before using the skill. And since I have Solar Pearl, um, I get more skill damage if I normal attack before using the skill. So yeah, that's probably why I got over 70k there. I gotta remember that to just... Do one normal attack before I cast the skill. And probably Sarah's buff is gonna run out now, and he only had one stack there. Wait, was it 64k with one stack? Did I just see it right, or was it 6400? Man, these damage numbers are confusing sometimes. There's so many buffs going on, and sometimes they're not going on, and... Yeah, it's kinda hard to, you know, consistently get the highest damage number possible. Okay, I'd already ended the video, um, but then I thought uh, about a slightly different setup that might work pretty well, um, with Kirara as the shielder, and then Sucrose for some swirls. Um, and yeah, I lose the tenacity buff from Layla, but I thought maybe with the swirls it would be better, and I actually managed to get almost 90k damage with that setup, so I'm just gonna try to recreate it now um, while recording. So yeah, let's see if you can get it again. It was 88k. Here we go. Okay, so what I did was I applied Electro first, then Swirl, then got the Dendro, then Sarah buff, normal attack with Lisa, and skill. Stop blocking, please stop blocking, idiot. Yeah, okay. The buffs ran out because he blocked too long. Well, that's a shame, but let's just try again, I guess. And that was 38, not 38, 83, uh, yeah, it took a while, um, I don't know, I couldn't recreate the 88k that I got off camera, um, and it took a while to get another damage number over 80k, here it was 83, I don't know why it was so hard all of a sudden, off camera it was way easier, um, yeah, not sure exactly why that is, um, but yeah, like I already said, buffs in Genshin are just complicated sometimes. Um, sometimes you just get damage numbers that for some reason you can't just, you, you can't recreate it. You, you, though you do the exact same things. Um, it's weird. But at least I got over 80k here on camera now. So with that, I can finally end the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.